everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video, yes, you saw it. LEGO Mindstorms EV3, the price is just going through the roof. I double checked it yesterday and I was like, what in the world? I mean, it was going for $350 and now take a look at it. Say what? My mind is blown, you guys. I mean, I've heard of supply and demand, but this is crazy. So if you, you know, checked in with my video about a couple of months ago, we looked at the EV3 retiring soon in June. And so, you know, it was one of those things where I just didn't realize it was going to do that, you know, as far as the price goes. So, you know, those of you that are checking in with Inventor or Spike Prime, you might have your answer now. You might be steering away from the EV3 just because of the price, just because of, man, it looks like, you know, you were, we're being price gouged here. Um, you know, and I even checked on Amazon. Check this out. So it's just one of those things where I'm looking at this price going, man, what's going on here? Um, I know that supply and demand affects the prices, but I just didn't realize it was going to kick in before the set even retires. I mean, I'm just thinking, hey, are, you know, are just a bunch of people getting these kits? Is the supply shrinking that quick? So... Uh, I checked out eBay and it seems like that might be the reasonable way to go here. Obviously, if you know you see something that's used, it's going to definitely be cheaper than brand spanking new from Lego Education or Amazon. So for those of you that are looking to get your hands on this EV3 kit, you might be looking to go eBay. Um, it's just one of those things where I don't see you know, paying that price. Even though it's new, I just don't see paying that price. I mean, that's like a hundred, what, ten dollars over what it was, and so it's just one of those things where you know you you're gonna have to figure out what you want in this case here. But I'm thinking, man, you know what? I could you know get uh, an inventor kit with some change left over, you know, especially if you get it from Lego Education, you get the free shipping. So. It's just one of those things where, I don't know, guys, you can throw this down in the comments section on what do you feel about this price here. Um, you know, I thought I was reading it wrong. And so, you know, I checked on Amazon. I checked out different, you know, vendors. And that price is just astronomical. So, you know, what do you think, guys? You think you might take your kit and, you know, sell it? I'm just kidding. I don't know. If you were desperate enough, I guess you would. But that price is crazy stuff. And, you know, obviously it's brand new. So you have to take into that count. If you guys have opened up your EV3 and have been using it for years now, don't think you're going to get $464 for that. But that is a crazy price, guys. So, you know, EV3, um, love the EV3 kit. I've been using it since 2014. Some of you have probably used it for longer than I have. It's a lovely kit. It's an awesome kit. Love the sensors. Love the motors. Um, but, you know, I, I have mixed feelings about it retiring. Um, some of you have definitely commented about it retiring, wondering if, you know, you're going to be able to access the apps and software and things like that. It all should stay the same. It's just, you know, for those of you like myself in the education business here, where we're looking to see whether we're going to, you know, supply um, our classrooms with the EV3. Now my mind is going somewhere else. I just can't, you know, see our school paying the price for this. And especially if the supply is going to go down. Say what? Did you see that? Only 18 left in stock. Definitely might look to go with either Spike Prime or Inventor, but you know you guys, if you've been watching my videos, know that I like the Inventor kit. So it's just a matter now of figuring out how do my students access the software for that. And that's still an ongoing situation. So for right now, you know, even though my students are not back into the class doing robotics yet, it's that's one of those things where it can wait and we can hold off on that decision. But, you know, looking long term into the future, it's one of those things where that's going to be a real decision. You know, um, you know, the EV3s that I do have, um, I think it should just still be used. I think it's definitely, you know, current as far as the technology. But for the future and, you know, supplemental things, I think I like the Inventor kit. Um, I have 10 kit kits of Spike Prime and that's been a cool kit. 
it's just I feel like the inventor just has so many more po possibilities and opportunities. So whew, it's a lot to go through, guys. So you guys can leave me a comment section on what do you think about that price? What do you think about EV3s? For those of you that teach, uh, what's going to happen in your classrooms? What do you think you're going to do if the EV3 supply starts to get to the point where now this kit is super expensive and the Inventor and the Spike Prime have, you know, their prices have stayed what, what it was when they first came out. So what do you guys think as far as the direction you might go with robotics in your classrooms? And then for those of you that just, you know, love the EV3, you've had your EV3 kit, um, you know, do you feel like you're sitting on a gold mine now? Do you feel like you appreciate it more that the price has jumped up that much? I, I don't know. It's just one of those hard to put your finger on it kind of thing on how do I feel about everything that's going on with the EV3. But here is the one thing I do know. EV3 is, again, always going to be, you know, have a place in my heart. It's the kit that I started with. It's the kit that I still do most of my work with my students work with it the most um it's the one i'm most familiar with it's the one i'm most familiar with as far as programming it so i don't know it's just so hard to tear away from ev3 but it's the kit that i have the most of it's the most pieces i have the most projects the most um i know you're gonna probably tell me to get over it right it's really hard, guys. I'm just telling you, for those of you that have the EV3 kit and you're in the same situation that I'm in where you started with it, you really love it, it's, you know how I feel. So EV3, I love it. It's just super expensive right now. So what do we do? For those of you that need to restock or if you're going to get more students, what do you do? Are you going to be paying this EV3 price? I don't know. I mean... It almost seems a lot wiser to go with the cheaper, newer kits, and that's probably where I'm headed. So again, for those of you that can't decide, hmm, Spike Prime, Inventor, EV3, this price change might have made your decision for you. I don't know. It depends on how much you really want that EV3 kit. So, okay, guys, so thank you for hearing me out on EV3 and this shocker of a sticker price now for the kit and hopefully you you know you're happy with whatever you have because you know depending on what prices do it all depends on what do you like what do you prefer what is you in your comfort zone so hats off to you if you're happy because that's what's important here and what you're most comfortable with and what's going to allow you to grow and just continue with robotics okay guys all right, I am Mr. Hino for Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.